This is gonna be one of those unboxings where basically I'm just gushing the whole time because this is something that we should have had ages ago, but it took until now for BenQ to pull the trigger and develop this product. This is the EW2420. This is an LED backlit LCD monitor, okay? None of that sounds very interesting yet, but I assure you we're getting there, we're getting there. It is a 24 inch monitor. And I would love to get this tape off. See, this is what happens when I get distracted talking about the product, you know, then I can't even open a box. All right, there we go. I'm just excited, sorry, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll say very little until we actually have it open. This is a 1920 by 1080 monitor, 1080p, and there goes the stand, which I hope is still okay. And I still haven't given away the secret yet of why this is so interesting and why this is so exciting. Well, I'll tell you now, because this is a VA panel with an LED backlight. So this is pretty much the first legitimately premium monitor that we've seen with an LED backlight. Because LED backlighting is, is fine and good. You know, it, uh, it gives you better color reproduction, it gives you better overall brightness, it gives you better energy efficiency. It's a very good thing. But, here we go, the world's first VA LED monitor. But, VA gives you better color reproduction a wide viewing angle, and a generally more pleasing viewing experience. So you combine those two things together, and all of a sudden, you've got just a crazy product. Now I realize it doesn't look all that special, because the bezel design is quite straightforward. You know, it's just, it's very slick. It's very functional, you know, it doesn't have uh, a lot of the bells and whistles like height adjustable stand, uh, swivel, all that stuff. But if what you're looking for is a value priced LED backlit VA panel monitor, this is it. It's got a couple HDMI inputs, so you've got all the features that matter. Okay, there's like, wow, there's like so much plastic on this thing. I'm just trying to peel it all off so I can show you what the product looks like. Here, why don't you just pause it for a second and I'll... So I found this in the box. I'm not quite sure where it goes, but we finally got the monitor unplastic so we can show you all the different accessories. So it comes with this little guy who appears to be some kind of a teddy bear. It obviously clips onto the monitor somewhere, but I can't, I can't quite find where it goes and I'm not gonna concern myself too much with it. Comes with a power cable, comes with a USB A to B cable for the built-in four port USB hub. You've also got an audio cable because yes, this thing has everything. It has all the practical features. So it has built-in speakers. You see them right there. And we can also see all of the inputs. So I'm just gonna lean over so that I can actually point to all the, uh, all the relevant things. So we've got our two HDMI inputs, one DVI input, one VGA input. BenQ's only included a VGA cable with this particular monitor. So if you are buying it, make sure you grab a DVI cable or an HDMI cable. There's your USB B in, two USB ports. Then moving on to the side of the monitor, we have two more USB ports and a headphone jack. That's cool too, because now all of a sudden you've got your speakers on your monitor. You don't want your speakers, you plug in your headphones right in the side of your monitor. I actually haven't seen that before, so that's outstanding. All of your on-screen display controls are over here on the right-hand side of the monitor. So I'm assuming Assuming, uh, yeah, the labels are on the front. So you got your uh, auto adjust menu up, down, as well as enter or select. So that's the confirm button. Just want to come around and have a look at the back. So it's quite slick looking actually. You got your glossy plastic here, which matches the front. Then you've got kind of a, a leathered look on the plastic right at the back. You got your four uh, screw holes for the visa mount. So if you wanted to arm mount this or mount it however it is that you want to do it, then that is where you would do that. Here's a little cable management clip. All right, and then there's a little piece here that covers up a gray part of the stand. And, uh, oh yeah, let's just go through sort of the 
Last thing, so here's what they have to say for themselves about it. Wide viewing angle of truly authentic colors. As I said, DA panel, LED backlight, best of every possible world. Then we've got a true, it's a true 8-bit panel. So once again, that's more color depth, better, good. 8 millisecond graded gray response time, very respectable. But bear in mind that DA panels will never be as fast as TN panels for strictly gaming. So if you don't give two hoots about your image quality and all you want is the fastest possible panel, then a VA panel is not really the answer for you. Although personally, I would never compromise the better image quality that you get from a VA or an IPS panel versus a TN panel. Up here we have 11 multimedia connections, which we've already had a look at, and dual 1.5 watt built-in speakers, which we've already looked at. So this is a very cool product. I am very happy to present it to you today. And uh, oh, actually, here's another thing to talk about. This isn't quite a glossy screen. It's kind of a, it's kind of a hybrid. It's not quite flat, but it's not quite that mirror reflection glossy either. One of the reasons those glossy screens showed up in the first place, and this is my conjecture, I don't know this for sure, but is because everyone was cheaping out on the panels and laptops. So they were using cheap OTN panels. So they were like, okay, well, how can I make the colors look vibrant? Put a glossy screen on it. There you go. Um, so really, there are very, very few high quality panel monitors that use glossy screens because it's not necessary, because they're capable of producing all those colors, all that vibrance, all that crispness on their own just fine. So that would be why it doesn't have one.